Okay, so let me talk to you what I want to talk to you guys about. Because it's actually kind of a big deal. Okay? Kind of a big deal, so we're going to talk about it real quick. Near it. This is easy clicks on YouTube. So whore it out, baby boy. I said whore it out. Now! Okay. I hope I don't get in trouble for showing this. I have to weigh myself. Do I actually care if I get in trouble for leaking? Whatever, you know what? Fuck it. Listen, I know Steve is a huge problem for a lot of you, okay? I mean, this character single-handedly 3-0'd and embarrassed the best player in the game, MK Leo, last week in a Super Smash Con. So much so that legitimately people are clamoring for this character's ban. Now, obviously this happens all the time, right? Remember Cloud came out, people wanted him banned. Bayonetta was a big push for that. You go back to Brawl, obviously Meta Knight got banned and stuff like that. But I've actually never seen TOs legitimately apparently hitting up figureheads, commentators, players, and asking their opinions on if they want this character gone or not. What I'm about to show you is exclusive, okay? So exclusive, in fact, it's a leak. In fact, I dare say this might ruin a friendship. But the way I figure it is... You know, there's always another event to get hired for. So what am I talking about? Well, let's dive right into it. Max Ketchum, the premier, one of the best TOs on the East Coast, period, in fact. Let's make big moves. You know what? You love it. Look at this DM he sent me earlier. What if I'm thinking about banning Steve for let's make big moves? What would happen? He asked me. Legitimate DM right here from him. I said a word. Let me get back to you. And I said that because I knew immediately this is a YouTube video. Have we really reached the point where this character must truly be banned? It is a question that I do not have the answers to, okay? I do not have the answer to. I will tell you this though, it would be amusing as hell. Now I've seen people posting like, man, I do really wonder what these Steves would do without Steve. I'll give you the answer to that. The same thing they were doing before, Steve. Not too much, okay? <laughs> There's a reason this character is considered a little uh, a little OP, if you will, a little OP. So with that in mind, I have I have noticed some things, and I know you guys have too. I think HBox made a tweet, or was it HBox? Somebody made a tweet regarding Zach Ray beating Shuton in winners. He beat his Aegis. No problem. Zach Ray's back. He's doing his thing. And then Zach Ray lost when uh, Shutun switched to Steve. Think about that. Think about that. And I've actually seen people talking about what would happen if like legitimately good players just played Steve. You know what I'm saying? People are still talking about Aaron playing Steve. Somebody mentioned the, the buzz Steve, which I think would go stupid. A tweak Steve would go stupid. Like there's a lot of variables in this, folks. It's easy to just say like, look, I get it. I don't like this character. He's got to go for a music say, God, for God's sakes, if you play Sephiroth, I don't even think your teching off his blocks is consistent, okay? That in itself is probably patchworthy. There's a video out there about that too. But, you know, that's just another thing you're just going to have to deal with. It. it is what it is because Nintendo already said, we gave your ass Sora. We ain't giving you no nothing else. You want something else? Keep clowning about it, okay? Because you look like clowns. Yes, I had that prop on hand. Don't ask questions about it, okay? Don't ask questions about it. But you can ask questions about this. Now, when I get a DM like that, okay, my first instinct is immediately, no, I'm not a fan of banning characters. I think that's whack. I think that's tacky. I wasn't a fan of banning Meta Knight, even though I played Meta Knight. I also was not a fan of banning Bayonetta. And I hated Bayo, okay? Do you know that Evo Top 8 where it was Captain He Who Must Not Be Named and that other gym like, who won, I can't remember his name, Lima, you remember when, when that took place? You know, me and TK were taking, like, shots after every freaking match. <laughs> that's, that's that's how we got that's how we got through it. That's a little-known secret. A lot of people probably don't realize about that Evo is me and TK were getting extremely lit to get through that. Because it was rough. Because I think we got down to that top four. And, and, you know, once I saw that last sheet go down, I was like, oh, Lord have mercy. It is, it is trial and error right now. Trial and tribulation. But, yeah, 
needless to say, that was uh, the last time Smash 4 was actually at Evo, and for good reason. So, uh, I definitely have some experience when it comes to, you know, banning of characters, and, and Max is somebody who's actually banned uh, a character in, in the past, Meta Knight. Um, or did he ban him, or did he, like, make a rule set around him, like a one-stop best of five rule set? I can't remember. It was something like that. But either way, either way, it was some ridiculousness. You know what I'm saying? So, bottom line, I think if you ban Steve, you're just being a Okay, I'm just gonna say it straight up. All right, you're just being a put. You're just looking for a way out. You're blaming the fact there's not gonna be any more patches from Nintendo because they can't bail you out. Listen, you don't need to be bailed out, okay? You just need to invest, okay? You need to invest. You can't file bankruptcy in Smash Bros. There's no damn money anyway. You got people getting $75 for fifth. You know what I'm talking about. It is what it is. This is the game that we're stuck with. This is the game we have to play. And I'll be honest with you, that Onin kid who won Super Smash Con, he was pretty cool. He had the right attitude too. He said, you know, he, whenever I feel like people are not directing the hate towards the character, but towards myself, I just delete the app. Because what are they gonna do? They're not gonna follow me to my everyday life. They're not gonna be following me home. If I'm not on the line, if I'm not online, you don't exist. Why, the kid's like 16 or 17. Why is beyond his years, folks? Why is beyond his years? Now. You're probably asking too, well, E, are you endorsing it for Summit? Because you know Onan wants to go to Summit. Slow down, Nick. <laughs> Slow down. All right, we got, we got a cola coming, okay? We got Steve Rep, okay? Now, he makes it, and I ain't going to be mad at him, okay? But I can't, in good conscience, give any vouches, okay? Simply because, you know, as a commentator, spoiler, that would be a little biased, okay? That would be a little biased. But I wouldn't be mad if you made it in just because I think Summit and just events in general should have the best representation of talent and players playing at their full capability. So if you ban a character that somebody's been jamming with, you can't get that. You can't get that. So again, this question posed to me by my good friend Max, what would happen if he banned Steve at a premiere event like Let's Make Big Moves? TLDR, nothing good, my friend. Nothing good. Thank you. I refuse to edit this on pro ban. What the heck? You Jim, you're pro ban? Who are you, man? Thought I knew you, Neorette. I thought I knew you.